the latest Minecraft snapshot, there wasn't that much interesting things uh, to take note of besides some inventory changes, added telemetry data, which for most people doesn't mean too much. And there was actually one change that's relevant to this channel, and that is two new commands or one command and one new subcommand. So the subcommand is the easiest one to take a look at. We have execute if biome, and basically now you can just check what by if you are in a specific biome so in this case let's check savannah and the test passed now if i fly all the way over here the test will fail because i'm not in the savannah biome now the next one is the actual new command that we'll be covering in this video even though it is very simple it should be pretty self-explanatory but i'm gonna cover it anyway just in case some of you guys didn't notice that it got added to the game like i did i actually remember looking through the list of changes and thinking oh the technical changes are just telemetry all right nothing new but if you scroll really really far down you'll see that there is actually new commands and uh, that is the fill biome command which is something that a lot of us have been wanting for quite a while it was something you could do if you just installed some mods to do world edit on a world and then go back to vanilla um, but now it's a lot more convenient so fill biome works exactly how you would think it would it does slash fill biome and you specify the coordinates in this case i'll do 31 31 31 which would be the max size for a fill command and then let's go ahead and specify something like badlands and so the reason why this kind of stuff happens and why it says maximum even though you specified a volume that actually is 32768 is because as it states inside the forum post, not every block in the game stores data about what biome it's in. And so it's really just up to however they coded it, which I'm sure some of you are more knowledgeable than I am about how they coded it exactly, but it's basically going to just try to extend whatever position you have or whatever volume you had to the next nearest highest value of um, blocks that are storing the biome data. And so if I run it right here, it actually does successfully run, even though before it said we reached a max. And that's because we're just aligned correctly on the block that actually stores the data about the biome. Uh, but if we just fly forward one, maybe it won't work. I guess it still does, but we fly forward a little bit more and oop, now it doesn't work. And so Godlander made this cool little fancy little world and I will try to have a link to the download in the description where you can just play around with the fill biome using these three different biomes with different colors just to kind of play around with and see exactly how it works. I did some filling myself just to uh, mess around with the boundaries, but uh, essentially it works just like the fill command except it has some kind of tendency to jump forward. Uh, by a certain amount of blocks in all three dimensions if you are somehow not aligned properly. And so I think that as long as you are on the uh, bottom positive corner of a chunk, it should always align perfectly. And we can just uh, do that by doing red here. And yeah, there was no issues. Do not quote me on that, but I am pretty sure as long as you're chunk aligned, you should be okay because most things in this game are aligned to chunks. And I would assume that the blocks that hold data about the biome are also chunk aligned. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. If you want to see more videos like this or a little coverage of snapshots, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Peace.